Howdy folks and good afternoon. <laughs> we're, we're back. You know. We just did a draw this morning for something and now we are into a tool review. And this is a drill from the future because I haven't seen a drill with these features before. It's from a company that's on the small side but they are trying to bring innovative uh, tools to the forefront and to the marketplace. And They've sent me some other stuff before in the past that was, you know, hmm. this one came in the other, oh, about a week or so ago, and I started looking at it, and the first thing I noticed was something that was like, whoa, it does what? And then I saw another feature on it that it was like, wow, that's pretty cool. So it's a drill, and it's also a power screwdriver, but it's not like anything I have. I have Craftsman, Ryobi, uh, Milwaukee, and Rigid in here with me right now. None of those will do what this one does. So we're gonna take a look at it, and uh, if you're questioning about the giveaway, uh, yeah, that's gonna probably be this after, that'll be, we'll explain all that once we get past all the features and why this is something you might want, okay? Yeah. All right, it kinda looks like a, a space gun, or actually kinda looks like a heat gun right now. It doesn't even look like a drill or, or anything else, but it's a screwed gun and drill, so it's, it's both. But like I said, it has something that I've never seen this yet, but this is look, it looks to me like the future. And if it is, wow, you know, cool. It's from Hato. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this name. Hoto uh, was the way I've been saying it. I think that's the right one. Somebody maybe comment below and say, you goofed. <laughs> but, uh, they've, they've got some other tools, that, but they're pushing towards this idea of innovation in design and function. And this one, the very first thing it does is how about a drill or power screwdriver like this that charges off a USB port? Yeah, I could charge that in the car. You could use it in the RV. You could use it in camping. Uh, car or truck have, these days have those USB ports on them. If you carry one of these uh, portable power packs for jumping your car, for example, it has a USB port on it and you could theoretically have this with you and you could charge this drill. It's just that different because you don't need the big power pack and the big drill or 110 volts even. So, you know, like I said, uh, there is a lot of different applications, well, maybe even a small airplane or something if you want to take a drill with you or something. The applications just go on. If you're in an office environment and you don't want, you know, chargers and drills and batteries and stuff laying around, this will clean that mess up in a heartbeat and you can keep it in a drawer somewhere, pull it out, charge it on the computer ports. Again, all computers, you know, pretty much have USB, charge it up and use it. So it's really coming from a very different perspective. But from a business side of things, or well, from the business end of being able to use a drill just about anywhere, this is pretty darn cool. So without any more BS, let's get this box open. <laughs> I want to see this bad boy. And I'm going to bring you guys a little closer over top of the bench so we can have a good look at this thing. Right. Okay, are we ready? It's time for, yes, yes, open box. <laughs> well, we, we, we call it that, don't we? So it comes in this pretty box, yeah, and we sleeve it off. And right now it looks like a box of chocolates or something for the wife, but no, it's not. <clears throat> and anyways, oh, look. Yep, yeah, it's got this pretty display. And make it happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're going to get this little plate off the top and yep, get into it. There's uh, instructions and what have you. Now, it also comes with drills and a really nice large assortment of different uh, bits for screwdrivers. So here's the beast and there's the USB plug with a, uh, and I don't know if they call it a USB-C type plug or, well, yeah, I guess they do, or a Thunderbolt. No, I guess it'll be a USB-C, excuse me. And there's your, you know, plug into the drill, plug it into a USB port anywhere. I have lost them right out here in the shop, but I also have them on the computers. The car has them, the truck has, I mean, everything around here seems to have them. It's got a nice case. It has lots of weight to it, so it's kind of heavy. And of course you have your high speed and your, and your slow speed. But it also has some more features that are really gonna surprise you. Let's get this bad boy charged up and then we'll continue on. Okay, so we're all charged up and here it is. 
couple of things here that I want to show you that are really interesting. It's brushless. That's what this little sticker on here says. I just checked the chuck on it, and it's pretty uh, pretty good all the way up to 3 8 So it is a good size chuck. It's not a quarter. It's, it's a 3 8 size chuck because it is metric, so I wasn't sure 100%. It also has this cool little feature here, which let's see if I can turn that. Well, here we'll hit the handle. That's at uh, 10 uh, right now for a torque setting for the, uh, the screwdriver part of the uh, assembly. It'll drive screws and or drill bits. And it also has a selection here for whether you're driving a, a drill bit or if you're driving a screw. So if you're driving a screw, you'd switch it like that back to the screw setting or put it forward for the drill setting. And again, you have this great, there's, a, there's something else here. And maybe I can get some comments below because I'm not sure what they were thinking on this, but if I hit this, I get what they call a pulse. So the drill actually, you can hear it, it pulsates as it's drilling, and I'm not sure, or driving a screw, I'm not sure what that feature would, uh, you know, would be handy, I, I don't know. We'll shut that off, we'll go back to say 10. And I wanna talk about the drill bits and the screw bits that come with this thing. The drill bits are metric, which, blew me away again because I can't find uh, metric drill bits. I did have a project a while back. I had to drill a specific metric size hole and I just, I could not find a metric uh, drill bit around, uh, at least not the big box stores. I even went to a couple and was like, you know, thought, well, I'll go to a specialty tool store. And, and uh, of course I asked one of those young fellows who turned around and told me there's no such thing or, well, you know, that sort of thing. Well, this is, comes with wood and metal drill bits. Just a few samples, you know, sizes, basic common sizes. But like this wooden one right here, and it has the old classic uh, wooden tip on it, which, uh, see if I can't get you a nice, good, focus, 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 you know, shot on that. This one, for example, is seven millimeter. And this largest one here in the, uh, metal or steel drill bit size. This is a six millimeter drill bit. So the metric drill bits are kind of cool because let's face it, we, we've all got, you know, these $7 packs of drill bits from Craftsman or DeWalt or whoever, or Ryobi. But uh, for metric, you don't, you know, I don't have any. I do, I, you know, right now, there's a hole. I actually put that in backwards. I don't believe it. Oh, did that. There we go. <laughs> yeah. The there's a metric set. You know, that's that's sort of. Uh, I, I think that's kind of cool. You know, it, if you needed metric or like I did weeks and weeks ago, it would have been like that. Would have been the kit I could have used. Now, also the screwdriver bits, which are right here, and you have a you know a pretty decent selection. You've got the hex heads, the Phillips. A slot and you also have the two I guess we'll call them triangles this is the small triangle head plus you have the three where it's the three fins instead of four like a Phillips driver kind of an odd one but I you do run into it unfortunately they could give you 50 drill bits you probably still wouldn't have a drill bit for everything you need to, especially if you have an Apple computer around but yeah there's so many different ones out there but there's also the little star head here the six point that is very common to like a, a deck screw or something like that. This this will fit that. So you know, there you go. There's your you know deck screw fitting kind of thing. And so let's drill something. We're gonna take a number two out of the kit, and we're gonna put that in the uh, drill here. Okay, and I'm gonna set it for screw. And I'm gonna set this down to. Let's set it down to really weak, eight or something. And I want to screw a piece of lumber with a wood screw, uh, a deck screw again, so a little bit of workforce there going on. Hmm, there we go. And it's, it bottoms out like that. And felt like it could still keep going. Uh, wow, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty strong little fella. So it's got a lot of really, Cool, innovative features. That's really what this drill kit is about. And it's not badly priced. And uh, the company has given me, I, I believe, a discount code, which we'll put in the description below. So if you're interested or you think, man, you know, I've got to have one of those. Man, that is cool. Mm. The If you have to have one of these, uh, yeah, I'd like to kind of keep that too. But you know what's going to happen. But this is going to happen just shortly. I'll even leave this on here, even though it says brushless, which is, you know, from Hotu or Hotu. And 
comes in this nice little carrying case, which you'd probably, you know, you, me, you know what happens. We'd take all that out and just throw it in a drawer someplace or whatever. But for around the office, especially around computers, anything like that, this might be the go-to drill right there, as opposed to some of these big clunky ones that uh, the big box stores offer these days. So there it is. There it is. The hot, the hot two, you know, <laughs> kit. And it is, like I say, innovative. Cool. And we're going to do what we always do. I'm going to put the lid back on, I think. I'm going to try to put the lid back on. And we're going to get this thing out to you. Somebody's going to get this. And I will do, we'll do the same as we always do. This is what, Thursday? So next Thursday, we'll do the draw. And somebody, some lucky guy out there who enters his name, will get this very innovative... Uh, oh, there's the lid. Again, another tool I'd like to keep. <laughs> I'm bad. Uh, it's like a... Well, guys, you know how it is. Everything that comes in the door is like, you know, man, I like to keep that, you know, but, yeah. But, and kind of looks like an apple box too, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Anyways, there it is. Awesome, innovative, very nice tool. And it's got some features I've just never seen before, at least not in a drill. And not at the price point that they have on it. So that's, it's a pretty good price for what it is. Uh, let's see, we'll start what we always do. 48 states, lower 48, in Canada only. And we're gonna, I'm gonna give you the link to the email box right now above my, I'll get down here so I got lots of room up there to put it above my head. <laughs> and we'll, we'll do the same thing. I've cleaned the email box out, it's empty. Even the letter from the lawyer in Pakistan that was gonna give me eight million, I, I took him out of there too, so he's gone. There was also a couple new offers in there that were really, really interesting. Uh, you know, trying to hide money from in Dubai or something. That's yeah, that was a good. That was I, that one was back to the good good stuff. So if you're in the lower 48 or Canada, you can enter the contest now or the draw. Enter for the draw. I really shouldn't say contest. It's not really con. It's a draw. You know, it's a draw for the tool, and you'll get this one right here, the one you just saw today. You know. <laughs> And so what you do is you put your name and your address, just like you were doing a little postal code thing, you know, at the top of a letter. Name, address, that's it, in the body. In the title, we're going to say uh, drill, D-R-I-L-L, -L, drill, in the title. It'll be coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com. Please try not to send it to my business email box. We can't... Uh, Put that into a paper tag or something from that email box. Everything is geared to the GMX box so that it is scanned and then it's brought over to an office uh, paperwork where it's printed out and then we cut the, the tags out so that we can have a draw from the bucket of, uh, of names. So we can try to keep this as fair as possible that you know whoever the winner is, the winner is, you know. Uh, again, congratulations to uh, James today for getting the DS300 camera. I hope he's going to have a lot of fun with that. And next Thursday, we will take a draw for, for this. And next Thursday, we'll have another tool review and another draw coming up. So we're going to continue this uh, effort for the time being. <laughs> but that is, that is, this is an amazing item, I'm happy to admit. What else? Oh, and I'll put a disc discount link in for the tool in case you haven't got time for all that or find, hey, I need this and I, I don't, you know, I, I, I need it for a certain application, be it car, car, boat, plane, wherever you decide you need a drill or just to carry a drill with you for business or stuff. This is a pretty awesome little tool to, you know, have around with you, especially uh, when you can charge it off a USB. Oh, and that uh, digital thing on the back is kind of cool. I like that. And you can, you know, set the torque uh, specs to stop the uh, drill bit exactly where you want it. And also you can, uh, well, you can run up to 3 8 drill bit size, which is pretty decent. You know, yeah, no, it's not a half inch chuck. It goes up to 3 8 which is still pretty good. I used to have some drills around here that only went up to quarter. You know, pooey. So anyways, guys, this is it. This Thursday, this next Thursday coming, this is what we're doing for the draw. So... Meantime, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. We're trying to get them subscriber numbers up there because that number tells the manufacturers, the producers, the product people to send us more cool stuff 
that we can give away to you guys for watching, which is pretty darn good, I think. Anyways, I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>